Hello friends, welcome to NC Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze the vortex setting behind a rotated square blob body in ANSYS Fluent. This is the part 2 of this tutorial in which we are going to solve a setup and EFT post processing results analysis in this video. If you have not seen our part 1, creation of the geometry or meshing, then the link is provided in this description. Please check this out. So, let's start. After the meshing is complete, open the solver setup. Select the double precision model, then click on start. Enable the transient solver. Now go to models and turn on the viscous laminar flow model. Now go to boundary conditions, select the inlet and put the inlet velocity. For this simulations, we have selected a low Reynolds number of 1000. The velocity has been calculated using the default air viscosity, density and the characteristics lengths. So, the velocity is obtained. 0 0.0.0146 0 .0 meter per second. Click on apply, then close. Select the wall. Name it as symmetry wall. Change the type to symmetry wall so that the two sides of this outer rectangle will be a symmetry. There will be no complexity calculations over here. Now go to methods, change it to Greenberg cell based method. Go to report definitions, select new. Enable the drag coefficient option, name it as CD. Select the x axis as the direction vector. Select the square wall as the zone. Then click on OK. Similarly, we are going to measure the lift coefficient along this y axis. Select the square wall. and click on OK. Select the lift coefficient and click on OK. Click on close. In the monitors report file you can see, we can get here the coefficient of drag and coefficient of lift, lift plots. Now go to initialization, select the standard initialization, select compute from inlet, then click on initialize. In the calculation activities, turn on the auto save for every 10 iterations so that the we can get the animations later on using these files. Now go to run calculation, enter the number of steps number of time steps as 7500 and time steps size as 0 0.1 second. Then click on calculate. Now the calculation process has been started. It will take some time. From the calculation page, we can see this coefficient of drag plot and coefficient of lift plot, the variations in the CL plots will show you the formation of vortex threading behind the square.
calculation is complete. You can see this is the coefficient of lip plot which is varying due to the formation of shredding. Close the fluid. Open the CFD post processing results. Insert a new contour, select surface streamline, surface symmetry one as the location, select the variable, select the velocity as the variable, enter the number of contours, then click on apply. This is the velocity contour. can save this image. Now go to animations. Select click on the shape movie option, select the location of where you want to save this animation file and click on this play button. So, the animation time step animation will be recorded. This is the final result of this animations. Now we are going to insert a line, we want to plot the velocity variations along the central of this domain, fluid domain, set the points, starting point and any point of this line. This line should pass at the middle. And the number of samples is 100. This is the line. Now we are going to insert a chart making this line as the reference. Go to data series and select line as the location. Select the x axis, the y axis, select velocity as the options, then click on apply. This is the velocity variations in the middle section. There is a discontinuity due to the presence of this square flop body. Now insert a streamline. Make it a surface streamline. Select the symmetry one as the surface. Click on apply. This is the variations of this 
trim lines, it is vertex shading formations. Now, we are going to animate this streamline variations using the time step animations. Move the slider to the initial position, select this shape location. then save this animation file. Click on the play button to record this animation. This is the result of this animation. With this, let us conclude this demonstration. If you have liked this video, then please hit the like button. Comment below if you have any doubts. Subscribe to our channel if you are new to our channel. Thank you. Keep learning and keep exploring.